Hi guys, welcome back to Vex Entertainment and I am your host Hari Krishnan and in today's our game review, we are going to review Lego The Incredibles. Yeah, the game which was released on 15th June 2018 and first of all, we can go to Steam and I will show you the price. Okay, so the game is actually priced 1299 on Steam and also the system requirement for this game is actually Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 maybe and but keep in mind you need to be a, having a 64-bit operating system for play this game and also the processor which they are taking like uh, Intel i3 or AMD Athlon it will be easy but you need to have a 4 GB RAM for this and also about the graphics you need a NVIDIA GTS uh, 560 uh, or Radeon HD 5850 uh, both you need to be having a 1 GB graphic, graphics card for that and also for the installation space you need to have a 16 GB free space in your hard disk. So now about the story of this game. So the story of this game is actually we are getting the Incredible 1 and the new Incredible 2 movie stories also in this game and along with this game have its own individual gameplay and individual stories also there. And uh, later on we can see actually uh, we have a chance to play other Disney Pixar ca characters also in this game. It is really cool like <laughs> there are a lot of, lot of characters which you can play. And the main new features for this game are the main thing is first of all the crime waves are back. And also this uh, the open world which features day and night cycle also and also we can see the improved in graphics the graphics are really really awesome in this game and the depth of field for that and also the small effects for the small particles like water uh, building uh, stuff and all all sort of that is really really good and also they are giving us a character customization by etna mode also it is also a really great great thing for the game and uh, the main thing was the game is actually pretty much long like any other lego games and uh, same thing uh, with the main excluding the other other lego games we can actually use the power and sort of stuff was really really good and uh, also i can say the co-op feature is really really amazing play along with your friends it was totally a good a good choice for this game also and the voice and voice acting in this game is also pretty much good the sound department did a very much good job for this game and the main cons for this game which i felt is like they they are the animations will uh, keep reminding me it was reused animation from the other lego games and also uh, the textures and the controls and the pacing of this game is not that much good and the textures will be keep popping up from the distance is too much annoying which i felt and also if you're not at all a fan of for this lego game so if you're a lego player then then this game is totally interesting for you and also if you're not that a lego games fan i don't think this game is actually going to do some kind of amazing stuff for you and considering the price which they are priced on Steam, uh, it is costing 1299 for this game. So for that, this game is not that much worth. Also, the game is pretty much too, too damn easy. And all sort of stuff which makes a weaker stuff in this game. And uh, it's not that much uh, okay. And it's it was kind of fun in some times also. So uh, for my purpose, which uh, what I think for this game is my thoughts, like I will give this game a solid 6 out of 10. And so I will say you need to wait for the sales uh, rather than buying this game right now, because currently this game is actually overpriced. I heard like for the console version for this game is also a overpriced uh, version. So I hope you guys need to wait for a little bit for and buy this game on a C in Steam sales or any kind of other sales. So that's all about my views about the new Lego Incredible games. So stay safe guys, stay awesome, punch it.